These cutscenes look weird with the animations on those things. Saved us again. Yeah. Huh. You want to help us? Go to the guy you were already going to, apparently. Thank you, Captain Obvious. He's gone. Let's just count our blessings. The way's clear. Right. I was already going over here, game. There's a marker on the mini map telling me to go over here. You didn't need a cutscene telling me to go over here. Thank you for your, uh,. I'm, our, I'm ahead of you, Fang. Well, just because you run faster than me doesn't mean you can yell at me. Jeez, everyone's so pushy around here. We're we gonna get another cutscene from talking to this guy? Apparently, yes. Oh, it's one of these, anyway. I think it spins kind of fast. Every time we do that, it lines up like six different floors. But we've done it like four times and we can only reach the sixth tier. So that seems a bit, you know, odd. But hey, apparently we're over here now, conveniently next to the elevator. Hello. Please don't hurt me. Walk at slight angles, they'll never figure it out. Turns out they never figured it out. Hello, Elevator. Metroid Vader. Metroid Vader, that's not what I wanted to say at all. And I have to go to the fourth tier to get to the sixth tier. Who designed these elevators? Backwards elevator music. Pianos. Wall pianos, that's what they're called. We're at the fourth floor, now we need to go to the other elevator to get to the sixth floor. And then at the sixth floor, we can presumably have a dance party. I don't know what happens at the sixth floor, man. Again, you're behind me. <laughs> Fang, stop yelling at me about where to go and how slow I am. She's so pushy. Six tier. Thank you. What kind of dance party? The best kind of dance party. A dance dance revolution dance party. So what are we doing on the sixth floor? Presumably more missions. It looks like we're gonna do a whole bunch more missions. Seriously? Like, how long is this tower? Why does Fang keep yelling? But how long is this tower? Does it have to be this long, really? Or does that guy have to be right in front of the door? Goodbye. This one has friends! Go away! Walk at slight angles, they'll never find you. Clay ring. I'm not entirely sure a clay ring would be very much use. Earth defense. I mean, it's a ring made of clay, so... Oh, I had to kill them to get that chest. Oh. I don't really want to, but it's a chest. I can't just leave a chest behind. Sigh. Not a chest that I know of, anyway. I can leave chests behind as long as I don't know about them. 
But once I know about them, it's it's I gotta have it, yo. Let's use more AOE. Why don't you guys use more AOE AI? Why don't you use less life sounding because you're staggering hope and ruining everything? Oh, now you use Thundaga. Except you didn't. You tried to use Thundaga. And back to murdering vampires because that's the next best thing. Until they hit you and then it stops being the next best thing. You haven't actually watched up to this point in the videos, that's because it's physically impossible. Also, I'm now dead. Is it really over? Yes. Because you're a piece of garbage and you stand too close to each other. I want the chess game. I want it. Look at that man. Doesn't spot me from a mile away, that's not how this works. And you can't sneak up on them because they're bat things. Doesn't matter, they spot you anyway. I don't need no levels on this fight, I just need Vanille not to be one shot. Technically, it wasn't one shot, it was two shot, but whatever. What did I tell you about being hit, Vanille? Now we're just gonna get staggered constantly. Please kill the bat. Preferably before we swap, thank you. You watch both stream and videos and I'm waiting till they overlap? They'll never overlap. <laughs> the videos will always be like at least half a week behind. It's just how this works. The live stream will always be at least, you know, two, maybe even four hours ahead. At the current moment, I think it's actually five or six hours ahead of the videos. Deprotect? Don't deprotect, that's rude. Also, stop roaring at everything, Sir Vampire. It's kind of like, irritating. Unnecessarily long fight is going to be unnecessarily long. Because they gave this dude freaking a third of a million hit points. He's just pushing Fang around. Nice job, nice dodge, Fang. Nice dodge. Can you dodge again? That'd be sweet. Uh, you did it too early. Oh, now it's now it's aggroed onto Vanille again, hasn't it? No hope, but nope. But, okay, now it's going over there. I think it's drunk. Go home, vampire. You're drunk. Or you're a drunk vampire. Go home. That's what it's supposed to be. That does so much damage. It's ridiculous. Nice dodge, Shaj. That's not how that works either. I wish they would use Cure on here more often rather than Cure on a single target, but whatever. We ain't got time for no Metaguard, woman. Also, why does a Roar take three bars? It's ridiculous. How many does a Roga take? Five or six, I wonder. I'm gonna say five. Yay us! Well done. A Seath Deer. And a chest! It's really all I care about was the chest. I don't care what it gave me. Eight Tears of Remorse. Something that's presumably not worth... Really? Three of them? It takes that long to kill one. Why would I want to kill three? Are they guarding something? I've already been on that side. Oh, oh, I know, where, I know where I am now. Just moderately confused about what was going on with the map here. The apex, apparently. Before we go to the apex, let's spend our CP just in case you know boss fight at the apex, because that seems like what's going to happen. I was boosting her medic, wasn't it? She's not going to get that in time. 
Especially not if I keep going down side paths like this, but I need stat boost, yeah? I don't need the strength for her, but the game's gonna give it to me anyway, but I need stat boosts. I should level his medic up, because we're pushing him to raise, I think, yeah. So now both of them will have the ability to raise. No, don't do that. Go back to Ravager. Edagnus? Oh, Ravager's done. Come on. Edagnus! And last but not least, and I accidentally exited all the way out of the menu because I'm a dangus. Is you! That's maxed. Sentinel's not. And she often plays the role of Sentinel, so why not? There we go. And I'm too lazy to level anyone else up so they can go bugger off. And we'll head to the Apex. Because Apex. I wonder if the Apex looks exactly the same as the rest of the tower. Now it looks kind of outsidey. Doesn't look suspicious at all, the fact that there's what appears to be an elevator in the middle leading up to a giant disk of death and despair. No, not suspicious at all, game. I'm just gonna save. I could see if I could upgrade weapons, but I don't think we have good enough materials for that at the moment. Well, maybe we do. You know what? I will check. It'll only take a little bit unless we do have materials, in which case it'll take about a billion hours because the menus are slow. Why you gotta be so slow, menus? Why you gotta be so slow? Who do we need to upgrade? Her. She already has a times three. Seems a bit excessive, so instead we'll just give her 21,000. What else do I have? Perfect conductors. We've actually got a lot of materials here. Tesla turbine. We have Tesla turbines and crystal oscillators and particle accelerators just hanging around in our pocket. What is this nonsense, man? And now she's out of multiplayer. So we need to give her a better multiplayer. Which we should be able to do. Because we got a ton of stuff like tales and tears of woe and remorse and all of these are worth much more than I want to spend on getting a multiplier. Times three! And then we'll give her... something. Bomb ashes are garbage. We'll give her some perfect conductors. There you go. Maxed it out. Apparently it was only one more level, but hey. I still haven't figured out if it carries that experience over, because I haven't actually gotten anything to the next level. If it doesn't, that's a massive waste of experience, but... I don't know, so... Because I can't level anything. Because I don't have the stupid ore required. And ore is crazy expensive, so... There's just not a whole lot I can do about that. There's actually several elevators you can use to get up here, it looks like. Which is interesting. However, there's an item across here, so we're gonna go the long way around. And that did, in fact, go from level 10 to level 23. It's because I gave it a billion experience in the process, but what is in this chest? Spherical item container. Two frost vein brushes. Is there a reason it's giving me those? I don't really know. Oh, there's another item over here. I didn't even notice that one. I'm glad I rotated the camera in this direction. And a mission up here. Freaking missions. And something over here. Another Ethersol? 
It's the first time it's given us an aerosol in ages. What's over here? This is not where we're supposed to be going, but what's over here? Probably a hunt, given the fact that there's nothing up here at all. Something in the corner hiding over here? No. Probably a hunt spawns up there or something. Possibly for that mission right there. Who knows? So that... I think that's all the items. There's no music up here either. Just a little bit of atmospheric sound and what do you mean watch where I'm going? I don't need to watch where I'm going. I got this. I got this doom elevator going up to the platter of doom above the disc of doom on top of the tower of doom. Full of enemies of doom, presumably. And perpetually playing the Doomy Doom song. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hey, look. It's acting strange. He must be weak from losing his tail. Yeah. Or more powerful. He's plenty feisty than me. He's bluffing to scare us off. Let's just go with that, all right? Come on, we can do this. I don't know about that, Hope. Especially since I didn't reset my default class. This doesn't look... Can't we just run away? Gotta keep him no, we can't run away. The dangus. We are fighting Dahaka! Who just did a thousand damage to every member of the party. We did, he is weak to slow though. I need to Libra him. After this, I'll do it. Alright, let's cast Libra, and then we'll heal. Presuming, okay. Presuming the bar wasn't full and I could do another debuff run. It is weak to everything. Has 2.3 million hit points. It's not that hard to stagger. It's not that easy to stagger either. It's mean to poison. Well, let's go back to trying to debuff and stuff, if there's anything else we can do. I don't know if there is. Well, we can de-protect it, actually. Ow. Apparently, Dahaka is a Dragon King in Zoroastrian Persian mythology. Assuming I pronounced that remotely correct, which I probably didn't. This dude's really hard to de-protect, as it turns out. Although in the process of doing that, we are getting a stagger gauge, so there's really no loss. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Some decent damage output already. It's because he's weak to all magic, is what main, if main damage dealing going on here is actually mages. Uh, sentinel, sentinel things. Well done, sentinel. Everything is very bright now. Like, super bright, yo. Oh, he changed his... Elemental. Hmm. There's more to this fight than I initially thought. So he now absorbs fire, weak to lightning. He's not... or sorry, absorbs the fire and lightning. He's not weak to anything anymore. I presume he has more powerful fire spells now, too, since the whole world appears to be on fire, but, you know. And Avic's here. Hello, Sir Avic. Welcome to Death Incarnate. That's Thundaga. Please don't... I think I just cancelled his cast. Oh, I staggered him. I didn't notice. Quickly, murder him while he's down. Oh, I was punching him in the face. While he makes weird growling sounds. This is going to be a really long fight. This dude has a lot of hit points. And he appears to remove debuffs when he changes his elemental. He doesn't go back to being weak, I think. Hmm. Oh, time to max out the stagger gauge. We're still not even doing that much damage when we've got a maxed out stagger gauge. 
This dude's just got a lot of defense, yo. And back to square one. Where he has no elemental weakness and he has no debuffs. Oh, he pulled his things out. No, he's still not weak at anything. I guess he's only weak at the very start of the fight. And then he casts water on people. How does water hurt someone? Oh no, I've been wet. That would hurt people, but oh no, someone's been soaked in water. Whatever are we going to do? Apparently Dahaka was described as having three mouths, six eyes, and three heads. Interesting. I wonder what element he's going to swap to. Who he swaps to something like thunder, so we can see like a thunderstorm in the background? I don't know. Something cool. I want it to look cool during this fight. No, he's going to go back to firestorm. Explosion! That hurts so much. That's because we have imperil now. So it hurts so much. I should probably debuff him, but he's about to stagger, so... Yep. This dude's not really that hard, it just... it's a long fight. And now I should at least use... Dispel on the dude. Because he's got a buff, and we don't like bosses that buff themselves. That's a no-no. That is a no in my book. That weird sound he makes when you hit him while he's staggered, man. Day 37 of beating this guy on the face. Seriously, man. Alright, there we go. Time to debuff and stuff and rebuff ourselves, actually. Oh, someone... I actually empowered our weapons with Blizzard at some point in this fight. This dude's not hard even without being debuffed, which is interesting considering he's a boss. Am I? Did I suddenly become overleveled at some point? Despite skipping 90% of the fights? I don't know. That would be a change of pace, considering the fact that I'm usually under-leveled, but whatever, I need to heal. I don't really need to, but... He's making a horrible screeching sound at me, that's a good sign. He also turned red when he did that. Which is a bit bizarre. Hit him in his singular ball! Quickly now, kick it. We're actually focusing on his head, but you think... You know, hitting that little weak point between the him and his his little ball there. Him and his balls. You think that would be a weak point, and we would go for that, but apparently not. It doesn't matter because he's deep protected. He's going to take massive damage and uh, less magic resist too. He's taking tons of damage. If we're lucky, this might be the last time we stagger this dude. He's got another 250,000. It looks like this might, yep, this might be the last time we stagger. GG, Dahaka. GG. Just at the very end of it as well. Hooray! Avaka's making deliciousness. 33,000 experience for that fight. And another Tetrodic Tiara. Sweet. Or actually, no, we had a crown, don't we? We have a tetradic crown. A tetradic? Tetradic? Tetradic crown? I'm pretty sure that's not how you pronounce it. Look! Nice. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Go now to hunt down evil where it hides. So I guess that means there are still more monsters like that one out there. Sounds like it. 
Somewhere out there on Grand Pulse. As if that was hard. Gone just like that. Big hunk of rock, that thing sure can move. Guess they're just doing what they can too. Trying to save the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, it's not all on them. Last time I checked, we are still in this fight. Hmm. Another cutscene, apparently. There, then, isn't it? Yep. So what's it like? Well, it's kind of small, but it's warm and green and very naturey. Around the Thal Sea, it was flowers as far as you could see, huh? <laughs> View from here? Hmm? Ain't so rosy, I'm sorry to say. What? You want to wait here? No. I need to see for myself. It's all gone. Every trace of color. We're chasing shadows. This whole idea of losing our brands is hopeless. How can you There's see through the clouds? Away. Let's keep on looking. That's what we came here for. We all agreed, and now we're here. You think? You think it's really possible? Sure. Anything is. <laughs> There's no going back. You don't think I know that? Come on. Suddenly enemies are up here now, apparently. Enemies I'd rather not fight, and the mission up here is actually open. Do I want to do this mission? Probably. It's in the ground tier. Hmm. Hmm. You know what? We'll take that mission. And we'll see if we can get straight back down to the grounds here super easily or something. In the meantime... Nothing. I was gonna say, in the meantime we'll spend those CP, but... Is it possible for me to get past you, my friend? He's flying very quickly, but apparently that's not even in his area of detection, so whatever. I think this will be the one that lets us go straight down and straight back up. Assuming it works. I guess it doesn't work. So is there no quick way down and then back up on this tower, really? It's a herd of robots over here, good heavens. This is most disappointing if it is in fact true. Unless this goes all the way down, but this leads to another room. I don't think it can go all the way down. Yeah, I can only go to the sixth tier. Who designed the elevators on this place? Why gotta be like that game? Can I skip these? It would appear not. It appears I can't skip these scenes. See that one? Nope. Sigh. 